Elon Musk and SpaceX have just revealed plans for their own space station, marking a major milestone in Musk's quest for a multiplanetary civilization. Renowned for pushing the limits of space exploration, SpaceX's latest announcement has captivated both NASA and the global community. This new project isn't merely about expanding boundaries, it's about creating new ones. So what makes SpaceX's space station so revolutionary, and how could it redefine the future of human space exploration? Examining how it fits into Musk's larger vision and why it has NASA buzzing. Let's begin. Elon Musk has always been known for setting ambitious goals, but his vision for space exploration may be his boldest endeavor yet. His journey into the space industry began with SpaceX, a company founded on the mission of making space more accessible and affordable. However, his aspirations extend far beyond Earth's orbit. Musk's goal is to create a future where humanity becomes a multiplanetary species, starting with the establishment of permanent settlements on Mars and potentially beyond. SpaceX has embarked on a series of ambitious projects that could reshape the future of space exploration. Before diving into the company's bold ambitions for Mars and beyond, let's first take a look at how Elon Musk's journey into the space industry began. Early Beginnings SpaceX was founded in 2001 with the goal of revolutionizing space travel by significantly reducing its costs. Initially, Musk envisioned sending a greenhouse, dubbed Mars Oasis, to Mars in an effort to spark public in-space exploration and establish a scientific outpost on the planet. However, the expense of such a mission was far beyond what was feasible. Rather than abandoning his vision, Musk decided to create his own spaceflight company, Space Exploration Technologies Corporation, or SpaceX. Based in Hawthorne, California, Musk invested a significant portion of his fortune, committing $100 million to the new venture. Despite widespread doubt about its viability, Musk remained determined to change the landscape of space exploration. At the time, space missions were incredibly costly, and private companies played a minimal role. Musk's goal was to make a difference by developing reusable rockets, which would drastically lower costs by enabling spacecraft components to be reused instead of discarded after each mission. For 18 months, SpaceX quietly developed a spacecraft, and in 2006 they unveiled Dragon, named by Elon Musk after Puff the Magic Dragon, a 1960s folk song by Peter, Paul, and Mary. Musk chose this name in response to critics who doubted the feasibility of his space ambitions. When he founded SpaceX, Musk brought significant business experience and a clear vision with him. He believed that by increasing the frequency and reliability of launches, space exploration costs could be significantly reduced. To fund SpaceX's early stages, Musk focused on securing a reliable customer, NASA. Later, he expanded his client base to include businesses from various sectors, helping to diversify SpaceX's revenue stream. Musk's goal was bold. He wanted SpaceX to develop the Falcon 1, a small rocket that would become the first privately developed liquid-fueled rocket to reach orbit. This achievement marked the beginning of SpaceX's ascent in the space industry, demonstrating that private companies could successfully launch rockets and explore space. The road to success, however, was far from easy. Falcon 1's journey was fraught with challenges, including fuel leaks and rocket stage collisions. After four attempts, the rocket finally succeeded, with the first successful launch on September 28, 2008, and another on July 14, 2009, which successfully deployed the Malaysian Razak Sat satellite into orbit. The success of Falcon 1 led to SpaceX securing a significant contract under NASA's Commercial Orbital Transportation Services, COTS program. In 2008, NASA signed SpaceX for 12 resupply missions with a total value of $1.6 billion. Falcon 1's achievement also laid the foundation for the development of the Falcon 9, a more powerful and reusable rocket designed for heavier payloads. With a capacity to carry 28,990 pounds, 13,150 kilograms, to low Earth orbit, the Falcon 9 greatly exceeded the capabilities of its predecessor, Falcon 1. The Falcon 9 features boosters that are designed for retrieval and reuse. The first successful landing of a Falcon 9 booster took place on December 21, 2015, marking a groundbreaking moment in space exploration. SpaceX raised the bar further with the Falcon Heavy, 
an even more powerful rocket, which had its debut on February 6, 2018. In 2018, nearly all major mission milestones were achieved when Falcon Heavy launched carrying Elon Musk's own Tesla Roadster and a mannequin named Starman. The launch garnered global attention, especially with SpaceX's live stream of the Roadster in space. Both side boosters of Falcon Heavy successfully landed near Kennedy Space Center, though the core booster missed its landing spot and crashed into the ocean. A standout feature of these rockets is their reusability especially the Falcon 9's booster stage, which can return to Earth, land vertically, and be refurbished for future missions. This was a groundbreaking development, significantly reducing launch costs and making space missions more economically viable. Today, Falcon 9 is routinely used to transport cargo, satellites, and astronauts to the International Space Station, ISS, establishing the foundation for SpaceX's more ambitious ventures. Following the successes of Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy, Musk shifted his focus to even more advanced technologies and daring missions, paving the way for SpaceX's space station project and its ultimate goal, Mars. SpaceX's space station initiative marks another significant advancement. The company has already transformed space travel with reusable rockets, high-speed launches, and the impressive power of Falcon Heavy. Now SpaceX is pushing its boundaries further by creating a commercial space station that promises to be unlike anything we've seen before. This station is expected to serve multiple purposes, research, tourism, and potentially as a base for deeper space exploration. The station's modular design is a standout feature, built from smaller, adaptable parts instead of a single fixed structure. Each module is designed to operate independently, allowing for easy expansion or reconfiguration. Scalability is a key advantage, enabling habitats to grow from a basic unit to a large-scale habitat that can support larger populations. This flexibility makes it ideal for a range of missions, from temporary research outposts to long-term settlements. Modular habitats also offer redundancy, a crucial benefit in space environments. If one module fails, others can take over essential functions, ensuring overall safety and reliability. This is a significant advantage over the ISS, which, as a collaborative project between multiple countries, has a fixed, aging design that limits its adaptability. But what truly sets this space station apart is not just its structure, it's the groundbreaking technology inside, which revolutionizes the entire concept of space stations. SpaceX's space station design incorporates groundbreaking technology at its core. A key feature of the station will be the integration of Starship technology. Starship is a large, fully reusable spacecraft that has been a major focus of SpaceX for years. Originally developed for long-range missions to Mars, Starship will serve a dual purpose in the space station project. It will not only transport cargo and crew, but also dock with the station, enhancing its versatility. Each Starship module could function as a laboratory, living space, or even a recreational area. Additionally, SpaceX plans to implement advanced, closed-loop life support systems. A critical aspect of these systems is managing oxygen and carbon dioxide levels. Plants and algae are expected to play a key role in converting carbon dioxide into oxygen, forming a natural life support cycle. Electrolysis-based oxygen generation systems, which split water into hydrogen and oxygen, will also ensure a continuous oxygen supply. Water recycling will be another crucial component. In space, every drop of water is precious, so life support systems will recycle wastewater, sweat, and even urine. NASA's water recycling systems on the ISS currently recover up to 98% of wastewater, but SpaceX's space habitats aim to take this a step further, with systems designed to reclaim nearly all water used. In addition to this, there's also food production and waste recycling. In a closed-loop habitat, organic waste would be converted into nutrients for hydroponic or aeroponic farms. Growing food on-site reduces the need for supply missions and helps manage waste, as the plants that are cultivated can provide oxygen and fresh food for the crew. These systems represent a revolutionary shift in space resource management, enabling habitats to operate autonomously for long periods. This is crucial, as sustainability remains one of the biggest challenges in long-term space exploration. Rather than depending on Earth for resources, the station would be self-sufficient for extended durations. Another key feature of the station 
is its focus on radiation protection. Cosmic radiation is a significant threat to astronauts, especially in low Earth orbit. SpaceX's solution involves advanced shielding materials, and they are even investigating magnetic shielding technologies to repel radiation. These innovations could make space habitats much safer, opening the door for permanent human habitation beyond Earth. By creating habitats that can independently sustain life, SpaceX is laying the groundwork for human exploration and settlement on other planets. The technology behind SPAL, 